Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about how Kavach works. Whenever you heard about the train accident or train collision, might be you think about it, do we have any solution to avoid or to predict about the train collision? Because the technology has improved a lot in these days. Then do we have any solution to avoid the train collision? Yes, we have a solution. That system is called as Kavach. It's also called as Automatic Train Protection System. And Kavach is an automatic train protection system and indigenously developed by Indian Railways through research, design and standard organizations. Might be you all heard about it, RDSO. Initial development of Kavach started in 2012 under the name Train Collision Avoidance System. So, Kavach, Automatic Train Protection System and Train Collision Avoidance System all are same. And the Kavach system is a safety integrity level 4 certified technology, meaning SIL 4 certified technology. Once implemented, Kavach will be the world's cheapest automatic train collision protection system. And it will cost 50 lakh rupees per kilometer to operate compared to about 2 crore rupees worldwide. So, now in this video, we are going to discuss about how automatic train protection system works. So, automatic train protection meaning automatically this will protect the train. So, how it will be? It is a type of train protection system that continuously checks the speed of the train is compatible with the permitted speed allowed by signaling. For an example, when you are traveling in a train, nowadays you can easily find out from your mobile phone itself where you are traveling and when you will reach the next station or when you will reach the your target station and all. At the same way, when you are traveling in a train, we have a system called automatic train protection and this will continuously check the speed of a train which is in the permittable speed, including automatic stop at certain signal aspects. If it is not, ATP activates an emergency brake to stop the train. So, this is generally called as a automatic train protection. How exactly the Kavach works? Kavach, ATP that means automatic train protection and train collision avoidance everything is same. So, you can keep in your mind like automatic train protection is equal to the Kavach. So, how exactly this works? So, the Kavach system consists of a set of electronic devices and radio frequency identification devices installed in locomotives, tracks, railway signaling system and every station at 1 kilometer distance. The system currently communicates with its components via ultra high radio frequencies while the development of 4G LTE based systems is underway. The Kavach alerts when a loco pilot jumps a signal, for an example signal passed at danger is generally called as SPAD which is the leading cause of train collisions. The system can alert the loco pilot and take control of the brakes and bring train movement to halt automatically when it notices another train on the same line within a prescribed distance. So, this is the way Kavach is actually works and it will inform or it will transfer the information to the loco pilot to take a immediate action. This device continuously monitors train movement and sends signals ahead to the locomotives which is helpful during adverse weather condition such as fog. So, in the during our winter, during that time as well, the Kavach system will helpful to the loco pilot to take appropriate action. The Kavach incorporates key characteristics of European train control system and Indian anti-collision device. So, this is the way your complete Kavach or automatic train protection or automatic train collision avoidance system works. Now you can see this picture. Here, actually, train collision avoidance system, key system components. For an example, in the loco side, loco TCS and loco pilot OCIP and brake interface unit and RFID reader will be there. And these all are the parts will be placed part of station. So, meaning station has TCS and radio tower and station manager, meaning OCIP. And in the track side, we'll have a RFIDs. So, this is the way. For Kavach or automatic train protection system, the RFID will be placed inside the track. And if you will see this image, so these all are the components and system will be placed inside the train. For an example, it has antenna and it has BAU and it has like a redundant CAN bus for communication inside the train. That means inside the electronic control, electronic unit and it has GSMs to make a communications. So these all will be placed inside the train. 
So now you can imagine yourself how they can place a kawatch system inside the train and how the communication will happen between the station master at the same time to the loco pilot and how exactly the train collect the information and pass to that other entity from the track itself. And now we can discuss about the structure of automatic train protection system. So we can sub this we can divide into two components. One is track side equipment, another one is onboard equipment. And this is a simple image how exactly the ATP and Kawach will be placed inside the train. And it has track side equipment. If you will consider, then you should have RFID tag, then stationary TCS unit, and tower and antenna. And at the same time, when you are considering for onboard equipment, meaning local TCIS unit, then you will have RFID reader, then local TCIS vital computer, driver machine interface, and brake interface unit, and local TCIS radio unit. So, this is the way communication will happen between two trains, and the those two trains will send the information to the station master, and this is the way communication will happen. And ATP systems are especially designed to prevent accidents caused by human error because most of the train collision avoidance, that means most of the train collision is happening because of human error. So, the ATP and Kawach will helpful to avoid the human error, meaning in the case of such a signal passed at danger, generally it is called as SPAD and excessive speed. So, they can help to reduce the severity of accidents that do occur. So, you can imagine now if both the train has Kawach then we can easily avoid that we can easily avoid the train collision and we can easily predict and based on that we can take a decision so there are number of different atp automatic train protection systems in use around the world very common and some most common is european train control system positive train control and automatic warning system and atp systems are becoming increasingly widespread as governments and railway operators look for ways to improve safety on the railways for an example, if we will implement all this kawach inside the train and what are the benefits we will get it. First important thing is reduced risk of accidents and improved passenger safety and reduced operating cost. Very important thing is reduced risk of accidents. For an example, ATP system can help you to reduce the risk of accidents by automatically stopping trains that are traveling too fast or that to have passed a signal at danger. So, you can imagine now, whatever the news you heard about it, then always will come in our mind how we can avoid all these things. So, for that, Kawach helps. Now, very important thing is, what are the challenges we have to implement this? Why most of the train does not have a Kawach system and when we will get it and what are the challenges we are facing in front of us? The very important thing is cost. The automatic train protection systems can be expensive to install and maintain. And complexity. ATP systems can be complex to install and maintain. And interoperability. ATP systems from different manufacturers may not be compatible with each other. And acceptance. ATP systems may not be accepted by train drivers and other railway staff. So, these all are the challenges we have to implement ATP inside the train. But whatever it may be, we have to handle this challenge. And the Kawach and ATP or train collision avoidance system should be important to be deployed in all the trains to make the people safety at the same time to avoid the human error and to avoid the accidents. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends. If you want to stay with us for more technical content, then please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.